Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at Hazel 3. If you've followed along with the previous tutorials, you'll have a load of Hazel rules set up like this. In the first tutorial, we went and we set up the inbox folder and all the at folders inside it, like at apps, at audio, at docs, at expenses, and so on. Then in the second tutorial, we looked at a couple of extra rules that could really increase the power of the inbox folder. In this tutorial, I'm going to look at syncing the inbox between two Macs. I've got both my Hackintosh, which I use when I'm at home and I'm doing some real work, and my MacBook, which I use when I'm out and about or when I'm traveling. If I take a screenshot on my Hackintosh, I want to be able to use that screenshot when I'm writing an article on my MacBook in a coffee shop. So with this workflow, anything I do on my Hackintosh that gets saved to my inbox is also going to get saved to my MacBook's inbox. Sync like this is a notoriously difficult problem. Hazel has a couple of sync rules built in, but none are designed to handle this sort of folder setup that I have. If you're not careful, you will get conflicts. So you shouldn't work on a file on both computers at the same time. It's just going to make a mess of things. The inbox anyway is designed as an inbox, not as a working folder. Anything you're actively working on should be saved out to a different folder. If you want it available on both Macs, just save it to Dropbox and let Dropbox handle any conflicts. So let's look at what I've got set up here. I've got the sync inbox rule and the strip MacBook tag rule. I'm recording this on my Hackintosh, by the way. So in the sync inbox rule, which is second, if a kind is not a folder, and the date last modified is in the last 20 minutes, and the tags does not contain MacBook, it's going to add the tag iMac, and it's going to copy it to the folder iMac sync, which is in Dropbox, as you can see there. It's in Dropbox, and it's in the inbox sync folder in Dropbox. The second rule then, the strip MacBook tag, is going to look for anything that has the tag that contains MacBook, and it hasn't been modified in the last 30 minutes, and then it's going to remove the tags MacBook. On the MacBook, the rules are reversed. The sync inbox rule excludes based on the iMac tag and adds the MacBook tag, and it's the strip iMac tag rule, not the strip MacBook tag rule. What these two rules mean is that anything that's added to the inbox on one Mac is copied to the inbox on the other through the inbox sync folder on Dropbox. Each has their own subfolder in the Dropbox so as to minimize the potential for conflicts. The next thing is that there are rules targeting the MacBook sync folder. These are the same rules that target the desktop or the downloads that we set up in the first tutorial. It's quite lucky that we have a great set of rules designed for sorting a load of files into the inbox already. So once something is added to the MacBook sync folder from the MacBook, Hazel's going to pick it up and it's going to run the rules here that sort it into the inbox here. So let's have a look at this in action. I'm going to take a screenshot of this Hazel window, Command Shift 4 and then Spacebar to select the window. It's going to pop up in the top right. In a second, it's going to get moved to the Screens folder. Then it's going to get copied to the Inbox Sync folder. There you go. You see it's copied to iMac Sync. And then in another second, it's going to get removed from Dropbox as my MacBook Hazel sorts it. So that should happen any moment now. And there we go. It's been removed from Dropbox and sorted into the Inbox on my MacBook. For a more detailed explanation on how this works and how to set it up properly yourself, check out the written post below.